Hi guys, it's me again. I hope this last week has continued to find you healthy in mind, body, and spirit. I say that because it can be really hard to keep up with our healthy habits as we navigate toward our new normal, right? I mean, I am finding myself like practically crazy. I'm talking to my dogs more than ever. Um, I miss everything and everyone. I never really realized what an incredible extrovert I guess I really am. Um, I'm always hungry. I find that like my brain goes, yeah, you don't need any more food. Shut the refrigerator. And I'm like, oh man, I just really need some pizza, right? Um, I miss the YMCA like more than I ever knew I would. I really love our YMCA. Of course, we're blessed to have a really great Y in our area um, with some excellent instructors, but I miss not only going there to work out, but I just miss the camaraderie. I miss the classes. I miss saying hello to Barbara at the front desk every day with her big smile. Um, but you know what I did find? I found some really great classes on the YMCA's Facebook page. So you can go there even if you're not a member. So anyone can go to the YMCA in Greenfield's Facebook page, scroll around, play around a little bit, and you will find links to workouts that you can stream into the comfort and privacy of your very own living room and get some workouts done. It's a pretty cool way to try something new, to experience a new instructor. Who knows? It might turn out that we have the same favorite instructors and then when the world reopens, we can go to the Y together. It'll be so cool. The other thing I've been playing around with is this. Not sure if you can see it or not, but see, Duolingo. It's my new favorite game. I like to call it a time enhancer instead of a time waster because I'm actually learning a lot as I play. It's a really fun, simple little game to learn a new language. And they have like tons of different languages in here to learn. I'm sticking with Spanish. It starts off really, really slow, like tiny, tiny bits. And then you keep building and building. And it's really like in game format and it claps for you and cheers and everything when you get the answers right. So it's pretty cool. And again, really easy and fun. So watch this. Como esta? Bien, y tú? Ah, muy bien, gracias. See, look at that. And just like a couple of days, it's pretty cool. Um, so hopefully you have all been successful at opening up an unemployment claim. Listen up. If you need help with this, call Chris. She has become our resident expert at all things Massachusetts unemployment. So if you're having any questions, any problems, need some questions answered, give her a jingle. She is more than happy to help you. Um, Becca has been taking care of that for everybody in Vermont. She's doing a heck of a job. So any questions, folks, on that, just reach out to us and we will um, help you in any way that we can. I will be sending you a text link in the next day for a behavioral style survey. What is that? Well, it's this quick, easy little quiz. Don't freak out. There are no wrong answers. All you need to do is just check off the words. It'll say which word best describes you and you pick the word that you think best describes you at work. And it just asks you that question over and over again with a bunch of different words. And then it plunks you into a category like promoter or controller or analyst or supporter. And it's just really helpful for us as we're planning trainings and focus groups and things like that to put either like-minded or, or different styles together, whichever we're looking to accomplish at that time. We're also looking to find another promoter to work with us on getting some new projects done. So take a couple of minutes to just fill that out for us. Just it, It's just fun for us to kind of help learn more about our people. And let's see, the lunch delivery program is really starting to take off. Um, I hope you all understand the importance that this um, service is, the impact that we're having on our communities, on the families that we serve. Um, we're able to really strengthen our relationships with our school districts by doing this with them. And we're making new friends. I mean, I for one, like I meet new people out there every day and it's been pretty fun. So please, thank you all for helping with this and being so awesome. But promise me that you are taking all the necessary precautions to keep yourself safe and healthy throughout this process. Alrighty. So thanks for listening, everybody. Until next week. Adios.